Discovering a new genus is rare and it should be celebrated. I am Dr. Ruben Shipway. I'm a postdoctoral research scientist with Ocean Genome Legacy, a global genomic biodiversity repository and a research laboratory at Northeastern University. I am Gisela Concepcion. I am a professor at the Marine Science Institute of the University of the Philippines in Diliman, and I am the associate program leader leading the Philippine team in the Philippine Mollusk Symbiote International Cooperative Biodiversity Group Program. Our ICBG focuses on Philippine Mollusk Symbiote Biodiversity Studies, and that's because the Philippines is uh, the center of mollusk diversity in the world, as it is of marine biodiversity. And this particular PMS ICBG focuses on mollusks and their associated bacteria. Third goal of the ICBG is to provide scientific training and capacity building in the Philippines and conserve the bioresources that we have here. I'm the primary author of this paper and one of the PMS ICBG's experts on the systems biology of wood-eating bivalves, particularly the shipworms. Our shipworms are considered the termites of the oceans and they are a group of wood-eating clams and because of this they have a very wide-ranging economic and ecological impacts. There are many challenges with biodiversity-based our discoveries, but the expertise of the Marine Science Institute, that's the MSI at the University of the Philippines, their staff and students are superb. They're excellent at organizing the permits, sorting out the regulations, really organizing all the field work, and then setting up bio laboratories. These are just portable laboratories that we can take anywhere in the field in the Philippines. And we're actually developing instruments that students could use to study the environment, our biodiversity, and to perform experiments in the field as well as in the lab. We found Tamalocus off the coast of Mabini on a small reef. And we essentially, we dive and we snorkel and we look for our large pieces of wood, which is the primary habitat for these animals. And once we find a piece of wood, we then inspect it to see any signs of damage and that indicates to us that shipworms are living inside this piece of wood. So once we find a piece of wood that we think has live animals, we then take that back to the laboratory. When we first extracted these animals from the woods, we were really struck by how weird they were. These animals were really distinct because they had these bright pink pinstripe siphons and the siphons are basically the organs that bring in water into the gills for respiration. So we used uh, an integrative taxonomical approach that included DNA barcoding, a micro CT to assess the internal anatomy and just the general morphology of the animal. The internal anatomy of shipworms is really quite complex. So having such a powerful tool such as micro CT uh, really allowed us to understand the complex internal digestive anatomy that then allowed us to describe this new genus and species. So the systematics and taxonomy of this group is quite poorly understood. And the only major piece of work that examines the systematics and taxonomy is now half a century old, and it predates uh, modern taxonomic methods like DNA barcoding. So we really want to uh, evaluate the evolutionary relationships of these organisms in a modern context using modern techniques. Tamilocus is a genus, so that's the local name. Uh, that's common in different parts of the country. And the species name is after the town it was found in uh, Mabini, Batangas. And that town is named after our national hero, Apolinario Mabini. It's almost symbolic of how we can bridge that gap between um, how communities could understand their biodiversity better through science and technology. So far, we only know that it exists in one place on Earth, and that's Mabini in the Philippines. So it'd be nice to find additional populations to get a, a greater understanding of the biogeography and distribution of this uh, very unique genus and species. In addition, I hope that this research really shows that there's still lots out there to be discovered and that biodiversity-based work is really important and it can lead you to unexpected places, uh, such as drug discovery um, and the kind of research that we do with the PMS ICBG.
we're very proud of this basic science discovery, which would have major ecological and economic impacts in our country.